Well, this isn't a great idea. Hello, friends. Colonel Failure, and uh, you're back on the peninsula with Transport Fever. Uh, I've been looking at uh, what today's notion is going to be, what to, uh, what the caper is that I'm, uh, I'm going to, going to, uh, going to investigate, and uh, and I've come up with one that I'm not entirely convinced is going to be accomplished any time soon. But I really ought to kick it off. Um, so I'll, I'll bring you in on what I'm thinking about here. As the precious little point in me just keeping this to myself. So we've got the, uh, this is the, the kind of the mining island. I think we called this Minecraft, the island, which was a, a very, very exciting way to describe it. And um, uh, what we've got is we've got, we've got five cities here. Uh, well, you call them cities. They're, they're little more than hamlets at the moment. Uh, but they could all do with being connected by rail in some fashion and then you've also got all of the uh, the various raw materials that we've got going on so you've got your coal and your stone and, and everything else <clears throat> now the the reason for looking at this is i want to get stone from here this is the only stone uh they're the only quarry that i've got on the map and uh i want to get it up there to make uh construction materials now then the the easy route using inverted commas there, uh, would be to uh, to stick some kind of port on probably the uh, uh, on the starboard side of the island and uh, and run it up to the uh, the incoming port just outside Raccoon City, which is great because it makes that port busier and uh, and that's always a good thing. And then use some overland transport of some description to get up to there to, to turn it into construction materials. That's all well and good, relatively straightforward. However, part of me goes, why don't you try two birds with one stone, start at Emerald City with some kind of station, I think probably around there, uh, and use the line that you build as a kind of spinal route that you can do both goods and passengers on. On which one can do both goods and passengers, he said, correcting himself grammatically. Uh, and then figure out what the heck you're going to do with City 17 before ploughing across, and then you can hook up a train route that keeps going and, uh, and you know, meanders around like this and goes up there. Now, this is going to be a massive project. There is no way that this is done in one go, and frankly, you're just going to be sinking cash into it with no return on that cash for quite some time. So that's what we're going to do. Stick around, we'll get on the way. Now, of course, now that I look at the lay of the land and we're here just outside uh, Emerald City, uh, ooh, ha, this is going to be way, way expensive. Um, yeah, I mean, massively expensive. Uh, so I think what I'm going to try and do... Because usually I then go, well, we'll back away from that and go and do something cheap instead. Um, but no, we're gonna we're gonna stick with it. I've got a pretty I've got a pretty sizable amount of money at my disposal. Uh, so we ended up making nine million in profit last year. That's good. We're definitely going in the right direction. Um, and the one benefit is that spending money on infrastructure in this way doesn't confer a, a running cost. So we can do this a little bit piecemeal at a time while the money continues to trickle in. The smarter move, obviously, might be to, to come up with another money generator right now. But, you know, I, I like to mix things up and keep things interesting. So uh, so we're not going to do that. Uh, yeah, nine million in last year. I sunk all of that into the loan. So we're, uh, we've got 14 and a half million available to play with to uh, to hopefully propel us forward a little. And then I've got another couple of million in the bank and we're earning all the time. So it's not like I've got nothing it's just I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with regard to how I put things together. So first things the first, let's put in. Uh, no, do we want a container? No, we'll go. We'll go back and put it in later if we want it. Uh, we will go with high speed track though. So the first thing to do is to lock in uh, waypoints effectively. So uh, so areas along the way where we will most definitely be hooking up to, to which we will be hooking up. Honestly, it's a, it's, it's a more cumbersome way of saying things, I guess. But uh, get your grammar right. Uh, so, something along these lines on the flat. Uh, now, if this was a, a normal, in inverted commas, map, 
I would use uh, I would use stations as as the waypoints in question. But it, as this is not a normal map in any style at all, it is horrendous to work with. Um, instead, I'm going to use just a little bit of track like this, and then when it comes time to build the stations, because they're going to require multi-million investment or the horrendous smoothing bulldozer, uh, then uh, we'll uh, we'll use that later. But this will allow me to have, I mean, by using waypoints in this fashion, you can, you can even still see it there, look. Uh, it allows me to, to kind of, you know, as the crow flies, sort of test run. So if we now build something like this, obviously we won't be able to afford it. But it goes, if you want to go the brute force route, we'll get you a we'll get you a price on that. Seven million, is that all? To go in a straight line from there. Well, crikey. Oh well that's that's not so bad at all. Um okay. Alright, good. Well we're not gonna do that, but uh but that it can be done for, for 7 million or thereabouts is, that's good news. This next one's going to be, well, there's an expensive way to do it or a, a cheaper way to do it. The expensive way is we tunnel straight through the mountain here, come out pretty much in the middle of downtown Arakeen. Uh, let's have a look at the land here. Yeah, and I mean, that's not so bad because it would then allow us to kind of hop from hill to hill as we continue up. Uh, you've got the bulldozing cost to consider for, for evicting people from the town centre, but they're going to exist no matter what. And then we head down to here uh, before we tackle City 17. And City 17 is only difficult because you're going to make somebody somewhere quite a bit homeless. And then you've got to think about the hop across to Alpha Complex. And i tell you something... Actually, if I were to do this end first, firstly, it's going. To, I mean, there's an expense involved in getting the bridge across. Uh, give me a give me a price check on that. What are we looking at? Five million ish. Um, yeah. So I think actually sticking a station in here first might be the smart thing to do. I mean, whatever happens, City Seventeen is really going to struggle to grow if I take this bit out. The alternative would be to, I don't know, to track up here somewhere. I don't know, yeah, 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 that could work. Track up here somewhere and then hook across so that we're not just doing a, a raw bridge to get across, but instead we're, we're hooking around. I need a three-track station. Um, maybe four. Four would be better, but three is acceptable. Now, we can extend a bridge across there, so we could replace this bridge work here with something else. But I do rather like that the town has, albeit precariously, started to develop on this side of the uh, of the water. Oh my! I did, it's it's a proper it's it's a it's a puzzler that one. All right, try and try this one for me. Seventeen million in a straight line. Yeah, and also that's that's causing minimum disruption. What if I were to do? that this is me actually planning you know yeah i know there's a reason you're going this doesn't seem to be as stimulating as most episodes uh and it's because i'm i'm actually trying to figure out how to do this more effectively than i would normally i mean that's definitely the cheaper way to go i mean if you do something like that first and then wend around there this lot would have to be forfeit you're gonna you're gonna really struggle to get a station in but you could, oh man, what are you thinking? Well, let's have a look here. 300, yeah, another half a million, another half a million, another million. That's expensive, another million. I'm thinking of bulldozing all of this, right? So bulldoze the entire island, everything that's on the island right now. Flatten it out completely using the regular smoothing tool. Uh, get my station in. Then unpause, allow it to rebuild. I mean, that's a lot of money. You can get a lot of track through by in the meantime doing that. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. But I'm not going to do that now. Uh, I'll wait till I've got a little bit more in the war chest. We're going to start from the beginning, which is the best place to start. Uh, speaking of smoothing the entire thing out, if I were to do that on this landscape here, the town would grow that much better. Right. Okay, now then, where's my connector track bit it's over here somewhere 
it's 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 there right okay because what we'll try and do initially is we'll get a point-to-point -point service here and we'll just stick a little uh, a diesel rail car or something on it um just so that it can make a little bit of cash and tell passengers that the good times are coming um the good times are coming the good times are coming yeah 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 all of that so the best way to do that is going to be to whack this bit of road here, smooth it out some, bang in a station. Uh, where, well, where else would you want a station? Well, you want to get probably in here. I think this this corner piece here is probably the right place for it. Right, I got three million in the bank. We've just paid the end of the month. Actually, let's whiz it forward just by a couple of days, just so we get a bit more cash in. I mean, you know, I don't know why I'm that bothered because uh, it's not like I, I, I'm going to end up not dipping into the uh, into the old slush fund there. Right, I'm going to build the station now, because doing it later will be more difficult. And the station is going to be combined freight and passenger. Now, I don't have a combined freight and passenger mod at my disposal. Uh, I'm just going to slap two stations right next to each other. Uh, but I'm going to try and do them at a scale that means I won't then have to subsequently upgrade them. So 240 is what we're looking at. And as you can see, that's not going to be an easy... Oh, hold on, that's going to go in quite easily. <clears throat> Hooray for everybody! Uh, well, that's good. Uh, what's that angle looking like? You do have to get around the side of that, uh, that iron mine there. Which way do you want to go? Well, for some reason... And part of me saying, go out this side on the on the cliff front and you can get some scenic views at the same time. Now, scenic views are not our only reason for being, but they're certainly a significant one. Right, check your aim. Yeah, it's half a million quid, I know. But uh, it's, uh, it's always going to be half a million quid, no matter which way you cut it. That'll probably do it. Right there. Let's just check over the cliff edge and see that. Yeah, 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 that's what we're doing. That's how we're rolling it. And right there is going to be where we put it. So a bit more smoothage about here. In fact, if we just generally uh, ease things ease things around a bit. If we've got a big dent here, there we are, I thought so. Right, if we just ease this down a bit... We should get in there. Now, there's going to be a cost associated with this, but there's going to be a cost anyway. So, um, I mean, it doesn't really matter how I spend the money. The money's getting spent. Give me, let, give me the let's not mess around brush strength, please. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, that's, that's probably got it. Yeah, okay. You can keep going for a bit. And there. Right. How's that? You happy now? 400k. Ooh, it's not cheap, but uh, but that is going to get the job done. Right, how many platforms are you going to require here? Let's say two. Yes, we're going to put electrification in here because we'll probably use it at some point. Yes, we'll have the second street connection. And it goes, no, you can't have that now. Ooh, that's ramped the price up a bit. Lorks. But, you know, the price is the price. But actually, dragging it in this way is cheapening it up a bit. 600 grand. And I don't like the amount of, the amount of gouging we're doing. They'll pay for it. There you go. You're not going to, you're not going to get a better offer. Um, uh, point of order here, Captain. Uh, what exactly was your plan vis-a-vis -vis putting in a good station by the side of it? Well, funny as you mention that. What if we do three tracks? Does that give us an end track that we could possibly snap to? Yes, but you've got this idiotic second street connection that's now going to get in the way. Ooh, well, how about we don't do that? All right, so th what? Three platforms and then run the other one down the side. It's because I want a piece of track to snap to. There we go, right. Maybe wasted a bit of money there. But uh, maybe wasting a bit of money is kind of my thing. So we'll get away with just one platform on a uh, on a freight terminus. Terminus, thank you. Um, 
and what we want is to well firstly make it a bit longer I don't appear to have any dramatic uh, station mods installed at all which is unusual that's not like me wow it will go in there that's kind of funky despite the fact that, that the the iron mine over to the uh, to the to the right there is uh, it's pretty cool no what I want to do in fact the best way to do this then is going to be build you in a straight line uh, give me an altitude check here are we generally going uphill let's let's say that uh, yeah we're we're pretty much definitely going uphill here you are going to want a straight bit though where you're not going uphill you want to go a bit straight in fact you can go a little bit kinky in fact you're the wrong track to start with you are the right track to start with go up to around there in fact don't even start there i want to see how how close we can cut this corner okay right uh because as much as i do want that lovely lovely cliffside view we also want to ensure that uh, we're not spending money any more than we, we absolutely need to. No, what? Uh, yeah, he says building a, a flaming bridge immediately. Right, well, that's at least straight. Uh, and the reason I want it flat is obviously so that I can build an interchange of junctions here uh, for trains to be able to get to whichever platform suits them best. Uh, we'll go with, I mean, that's a little more modern than I'd like. What about Jolly Green? I know I have a, right, a fixation with Jolly Green, but uh, it is Jolly and Green. Okay, yeah, we'll start like that. 200 grand. Ooh, pricey. Um, but keeping it on the level in order to uh, facilitate some, uh, some, some marvellous interchange of, uh, uh, of services coming in is going to be pretty important. Right, run that down there. Well, in fact, just run it all the way to there. Yeah, gently. Get the junction in first. No, wait. All right, what's that going to do to my... This is why you keep it flat, you see, because then you don't end up with lumps throughout your track. If I were to try to do this on a... Well, firstly, it would probably give me too much slope and that kind of joyous, uh, joyous description there, but... Uh, Right, and then, this is the reason we were doing this in the first place, is to stick that in there. Don't know if it's going to work, but let's have a look. So if I now snap that, because that ensures that we have the correct, uh, the correct altitude, effectively. Uh, because otherwise you end up with a, a goods train that is, uh, that is lower down than the passenger train, and you then have to try and merge all of the, uh, all of the lines together, and it won't go, and you get cross and you bulldoze stuff out of frustration and, and 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 life you know i mean life continues but but just not the same right we're going to do this a different way right i want you to go straight from here to about there now this is this is an entirely unwarranted expense and actually with it snapped there i think it might be too close to the station for this to work not that bit this bit <clears throat> but we'll try it anyway. In the grand scheme of things, this really isn't that expensive. Right, no. It is colliding. Well, there's an easy solution to that. We'll just grab this and do the next one over. Right, do that. Thank you. Then do this. Right. Okay, there we go. So I, at least that's giving us the right altitude. This should go in without complaining this time. There we go. Two buildings need to be removed. They will be. Um, not No debate there. We, we, debate, we debate not. And that gives us more or less on the same elevation, which is, which is near enough. I'm actually going to tidy this now because I'll forget later and it'll, and until later and it'll make me sad. Uh, yeah. Okay, smashing. Now, that's not the most convenient place for my freight station down here, but it will be accepting deliveries uh, as well as uh, as picking up iron ore when we get around to working with iron ore, which is going to be quite some time. Uh, although, given that this route will pick up iron ore and it will pick up 
uh, coal along the way as well. It's uh, it's going to be bringing everything we need in order to make steel. Now, here's the thing. We might end up not using the stone. We might end up using slag instead to make the uh, uh, the construction materials that we're after as our, as our end product. That'll be interesting. Right, okay, now then. Will you, you sit about there? Okay, right, and then we'll grab that. And you come in down this way. You can do pretty much whatever routing you need to do there to make that work. It's only a, it's a freight train, so dropping to 64 when it's coming into the station anyway. It's maybe not ideal. We are doing a bit of a swan neck there. And if I were to merge at the bridge instead, it would work better. Do you want to do it again? Yeah, let's give it another go. This is actually turning out to be my most highly developed station already. Um, I mean, I mean that's that's a that means nothing, but uh, it's the, the reason that that's that's in any way interesting at all is that uh, it's not going to get used for for ages because I've got to finish the whole line first. Right there we go. Double station approach. I quite like it. Or, no, that's, I don't hate it. That's the ticket. Right, now then, uh, we've got two ways of going about this. We either go straight line, tunnel up to my kind of uh, bit of meeting track there, or we try and do something dramatic winding around the outside. Now, the the latter is uh, it has better views. That's That's point one, and that's a good point is that it has better views. Um, it also uh, may end up being cheaper to set up. The downside is it's more likely to end up being uh, unprofitable. Now, this is quite the, quite the cut through. Yeah, this is quite the cut through. That's, that's not bad at all. I mean, it's a shame that we're underground the entire way. You know, we do get to we do miss out on some some nice scenery there. Six million to do that. Well, it's 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 not awful, right? Why would you start with this one rather than the next one? Well, this is the center line. Let's keep it at one two five. I rather regret having not checked the elevation required, but you're gonna, I'm now going to do it again. Sorry, 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 sorry. I just want to see how much upward is required to make this journey. Gentle up. Well, that makes a flipping change. Usually we're talking about, you know, manic upward or downward uh, angles of attack. So gentle up is, uh, is perfectly acceptable. All right. Give me one, two, five here on uh, on gentle up. There you go. Right. Oh, that's your autosave. For a moment there, I thought I'd done a wiggle too far. I regularly wiggle too far and uh, and pay the price accordingly. Right. There we go. Autosave has done its thing. Uh, right. One thirty three. That's not so bad. Okay. Next one. Keep uh, keep gouging the mountain side. Oh, are we going to get tunnel to bridge to tunnel? Yeah, we we might with a bit of a bit of nice line. That's, what do we think of that? I think that's quite nice. Okay, we're still on gentle up here. You're going to end up going underneath this iron mine. Uh, and uh, as a second piece of thought here, I'm not entirely certain. What we're talking about another four million to get the rest of the way. So you go underneath the iron mine. We emerge briefly here before going back under underground. Then we're back out again. Have we got another underground section? Or do we go straight there? Okay, all right. Yeah. No, we're going to continue wiggling a little bit. Uh, if, I can, if I can get us up to 150, 160, that would be jolly good. Uh, but if we can stay above ground a bit while we do so, that would be jollier good. Right. Okay, so what's your problem? You've run out of money. Okay, well, that's, uh, so that is a problem. 
uh, let's let's get the game rolling again, and it will it will keep gently topping me up. Um, right, we're going to stick with Jolly Green. I think once you start a motif on a section of track, one one should stick with it uh, and not be whoa 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 whoa. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, because I'm seeing it. So uh, I hope you are too. You'd, you'd, you'd be doing it for the sake of it. That's the only reason I do anything. Uh, is what if we swerve underneath that bridge? A, a part of me says, why don't you just build a bridge that you can then swerve under? Because at this angle, you're going to cut your speed amazingly to get to get under that. Why? Why are we even? Why are we even countenancing this as a as a possible line of inquiry? Uh, I guess we are. Okay. Right. Well, uh, over here, gentle up. That's what you're getting. Right. So that's going to be the freight line. Gentle up, please. Yeah. I, d I will. Re I'll end up relaying the bridge over the top of it. Um, there you go. So here's our three lines. Obviously, the freight line is an up. At, uh, is a is a two-way piece of track, and we'll we'll probably end up with passing sections in there. Right, and then what? I mean, come on, what's your what's your scheme from here? Down, please. Um, also, I think the elevation is off. No, it's not. The elevation's fine. You you hush. This is going to look good. All right. Okay, that's the wrong one. So is that. Go find the right one. It's that one. Okay. So if we don't snap to the bridge... Well, firstly, uh, that's worked which is cool. It shouldn't work. That should be very much clipping there. But uh, are you going to just lay this in and then try and make it work? Because I, I tell you right now, you're going to struggle to make that happen. Oh, it looks great though, doesn't it? Doesn't it look good? Uh, you're insane. Right, there you go. Go on, put it in. Okay, we're going to try that. Now, that was cheap, okay? So if this doesn't work, it doesn't matter. Right, uh, get rid of the road. The road can uh, can take to, can play second fiddle to this. Now, if I just connect this up, is this the middle one you're working on here, or have you done an end? You've done an end because you're an idiot. Okay, right, do the middle one. All right, now then. You come round here, go, hello, sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, but uh, our Lord and Maestro has insisted that uh, that this is a thing. All right. Well, yeah. Your Lord and Maestro is a spanner. Yes, he is, rather, but, uh, but we like him. Right, too much slope. There we are. That's what we've discovered. Am I trying to go uphill too much? No, no, no. It's because of the terraformage that you've got going on. That's only going to cost you a million. Yes. Yeah, it's not... Uh, presumably, given that it won't attach to there, it's because it's too steep. It's too high up. So you would need to uh, to bring the elevation of this down a bit. All right. Okay, well, what are you going to do with that? What? How does that information help you? Well, we're just going to relay this, but we're going to use a slightly more a slightly more advanced angle. You're spending a lot of time on this, dude. I hope I hope this pays off as uh, as both a tremendously attractive and profitable route. All right, leave that in there. Just work from from Johnny Middle Track. Why don't you delete the bridge and then put the bridge in afterwards? Everything you're saying has got merit and is somewhat sensible, but uh, no, I'm not going to. Look, there we go. Now grab from there. And this should connect. There we go. Too much slope. And that's going to be where the bridge that we're building here interferes with the... Uh, well, the line that we're building interferes with the bridge. Also, how fast is this actually when you put high-speed bridges on there? 186, round the corner. 157, 132, 118... 118 is slower than you want to go. Uh, you want to you want to go faster than that. Yeah, but if I'm going to... No, stuff it. I don't care. 
Stuff It, I Don't Care is very much the subtitle for this series. Uh, right, go on then, get rid of the bridge. Good luck putting it back in, no. Ah, oh, second job. Good luck actually removing the bridge. What do you mean it doesn't want to be bulldozed? Why doesn't it want to be bulldozed? Now, you've had this before, haven't you? You've spent a long time trying to delete the bridge from hell. Yeah. And the, the trick, if I recall correctly, because it's been a while, is to actually connect some road back up to it and then go after it first. Okay, if you say so. I don't think it's... No, it's, it's not biting, look. You are stuck with that bridge in the way that it is now. Why don't you give up this stupid idea? No, I will not give up the idea, and it is not stupid. You're stupid. Um, all right, okay, we're going to have to have another swing at this then, because uh, if we can't interfere with the uh, with the bridge itself... Right, that's too low down. You're not going to you're not going to make your connection if you start from there, or are you? Uh, regrettably, yes, you are. But that bridge is horrendous. Also, that bridge is horrendous. You've still got an, a big uphill chunk to do, and uh, and you're going to need a bridge of some description to pull that off. Oh, yeah. But you see, you've got to you've got to be in your bonnet about it now, and therefore we're doing it. Right, steep bit. Alright, put in all three bits of track so it can't complain about you interfering with the bridge. If you are stuck with that bridge, then make the best of it. Next up, get round the corner here so that we've at least got a fairly straight angle of attack. Why it keeps defaulting to that flipping useless bridge. I guess it's defaulting to that flipping useless bridge because that's the, a bridge that is uh, appropriate to the era in which we find ourselves. All right, 127. How do you feel about 127? If you can hit 130, that'd be lovely. Good. Have at it. Right, now then. You are the center track, are you not? I am the center track. Then let us progress. This is costing a lot more than almost every other quote that you've had for this project, uh, senor. That's as maybe, but the uh, the proof of the pudding is going to be worth it. All right, and then snaparoo. Too much slope. No, there can't be too much slope. What are you talking about? Where is there too much slope? Are you just is that just generally it's too steep? No. It's not that steep. It really isn't that steep. It really is that steep. There we go. There's the there's the last uh, there's the last hop. Are we on maximum downhill? If we're on if we go oh no, we're <laughs> we're on maximum downhill. This isn't gonna work. You've spent the last fifteen minutes on something that isn't gonna work. See, now when you're playing alone, right? 15 minutes, you kind of go, oh, well, that's all right. That's, uh, it was worth an exploration. However, when you've got people watching you, you have to be a little bit more decisive and effective than that. Right, is that, and what kind of, what uh, what level of inclination have we got going on here then? Come to just, will you please? Thank you, no, thank you. Give it up. I do not want to give it up, all right? Bulldoze these three again, then, and lay it in lower. Okay? Or, uh, here's a scheme. Go from this end, wang it up there, and just accept what it is it's telling you. It's telling me I have to build a tunnel. I don't want to build a tunnel. Well, all right, we'll do something more aggressive then. But, you know, get on with it. That's maximum uphill. All right, okay, no, no, we're going to take that. I'm going to put that in. That I can work with. It's going to make for quite a quite a gnarly corner there, though. Yeah, but you get this nice big section of 186. Yeah, but nobody accelerates to 186 that quickly. And therefore, it is, it is largely a redundant uh, piece of acceleration that you've created for your taking it. All right, because at least we're getting closer this way. 
All right, then round the corner. Yeah, see, round the corner is now 86 miles per hour. That's far too slow. Come on, you, when you were, you know, pontificating on the merits of uh, of doing the cheaper track lay uh, versus the uh, the pricey direct route, hang on, you might have found one here. We go underneath the mine. Yeah, that says 75. It says 75 because it's chosen the flipping slow bridge again. 141 is nice. Uh, how about you? What have you got going on? And we emerge the other side of the mine. That's lovely. Right, I've taken that. That's that's, it's it's within the spirit of what I had hoped to build. Now then, last leg, it's from here to there. Now that's only a it, that's effectively a height marker, uh, but even then we have come rather too far around that corner. So we'll just delete that a bit back, and bosh. Firstly, can you make the altitude there? Yes, you very much can. Secondly. What is the best route? Well, the best route is to skirt this hillside here uh, before minor cut across bridge-wise over, over this way. The next bit is the pricey bit. This, is, this, was, the, this was the easy bit, kids. Uh, the next bit is going to be chunky. But the good news is I can, I can stick in a quick station here somewhere, put a bus route, bus stop on it, and uh, and serve both these towns with a connection to to Emerald City, which is going to be brilliant. Um, that bridge, yeah, yeah, that bridge, yeah. Also, if you were going to go this way, you wouldn't bend your tunnel that way, would you? No. So you might want to rebuild your tunnel. Oh, for pity. Right, that's it. That's going to wrap it up for today. Um, I'm going to carry on. Uh, when you return to me next time, we will be connected up to the middle section and uh, and we'll run our, our diesel rail service on there uh, before we then press on. I'm going to, in each episode, we're going to push forward to the next kind of milestone. And I might need to finish off the last bit on myself, uh, but you at least get to come along on the journey. Hopefully, I will make things spicy along the way. Uh, so that we don't end up with uh, 45 minutes to build that. I've been Colonel Failure. You should have seen this coming. Catch you next time. Cheerio. All right, this is an ambitious project. So taking the, uh, the, the rail line through the entire spine of this island and then onto the mainland itself, while it will end up making a decent amount of cash, uh, I mean, an unholy amount of cash, I mean by that, because uh, we're going to be exporting freight in two directions. We're going to have passengers on this route as well. And obviously, once you've got one line plumbed in, then marrying that up with, uh, with additional lines either side becomes, well, it becomes much, much easier. Uh, we can then also branch off that into uh, into making other connections with uh, with nearby towns so there's there's a massive amount of opportunity but it's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take even more money now as mentioned before the the only upside that you get from that really is that uh having just track lying around doesn't actually cost you anything to, to just leave it lying around so it's all capital investment hopefully to capitalize on later capital 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 <laughs>